How you going guys? Today we're reviewing this Yamaha generator. It's just Surprise! I just love getting new toys and this is something I've wanted for a while. So, the first thing you want to do, as the label says, there's no oil in the engine. You need 0.4 of a litre of Yamalube. You can either use 10W30 or 10W40. I happen to have Yamalube 10, 10W40 in my shed because that's what my motorbike takes. So that's what we use. Also have fuel, just 91 octane, clean funnel, and a clean measuring container. But first, the way to fill the oil is there's a door at the back right here. You open that up by lifting the tab at the bottom, put that to the side, and you unscrew the cap for the oil. It's not a dipstick, unfortunately, so you can't check the level of oil. You just have to measure it and make sure it's right when it goes in. I lay it down because it's almost horizontal, the filling hole. It's much easier on its side. I'll insert the funnel right there and start measuring the oil. So I just put the cap back on, little cover over the hole again, and now it's going to be time for fuel. The fuel filler is right here. It has a little strainer in there which is really handy if you got dirty fuel. If you got dirty fuel you probably shouldn't be putting it in there anyway unless you're desperate, stuck in the middle of nowhere and you need some power. So you got a fuel strainer with a little indicator, a level indicator with a red line, so don't fill above that. On the lid, there's an on-off, that's a breather. As the fuel level goes down, you need to let air in, so make sure that's switched on. Right, so we've got oil and fuel in it. Let's try to give it a start. So the manual on page 23 says first you want to turn this economy switch off which is that one there turn on the breather for the tank which we've already done turn the power to the engine on which is a red one that's on turn the fuel tap on which is this big tap here twist it all the way to one pull the choke out which is just below and give it a couple of pulls let's take this tag off don't need it anymore, we've put the oil in. Let's give it a pull. Oh, I need to switch it to on. Oh, look at that. It starts stuck straight away. off I'm gonna leave economy off I'm gonna turn the fuel off choke in because I'm gonna pack up when to go camping I'll do a review of this generator once I've had a chance to use it gonna go for a swim in Lake Brockman <laughs> I've got on this freezing water it's cold should I do it then all right here we go one two <laughs> of the generator. Got the cabin in there, we're gonna run the aircon, the Dometic area light, and see if this thing runs it. Let's get it started.
So far, it's very quiet. Too loud. I can hear it, but it's definitely quiet. The aircon is still ramping up, but when it's full power, we'll see. There we go, it's starting to crank up. Just went out there and moved it. Now I've faced the exhaust away, so it's a lot quieter. It's, uh, the aircon's actually cranked up since then, and it's a lot quieter. It's definitely cooling. Let's put the microwave on as well and see if it trips it out. Definitely cranked up now. Definitely a lot louder with the microwave on. tripped out hey guys so we're back from camping uh, it was a beautiful couple of days but there was a big storm coming in which is amongst us now uh, so it actually turns out it's good I bought a generator because it sounds like we're gonna have some rolling blackouts let's continue our tests we've got the generator running let's uh, see what we can do right so I've got the generator set up and running it's right next to the door so it'll be loud compared to being 20 30 meters away but okay so i've just turned the air conditioner on or the heater actually uh, and i'm going to attempt to trip out the generator again let's put the microwave on that is working really hard Right, so it's turned off the AC supply on the output due to overload. Now, as you can see, the overload light there. So to reset that, turn off the machine. Back on. Okay, so we've got normal operation again. So I've restarted the generator and the microwave at full power and it has no issue. There is no overload. It's quite happy to run the microwave. So there you have it, uh, that's the review of the generator and let's buckle down for this storm coming. Hopefully we won't need this generator, but we do. I'm very happy that we have it up 